So I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. As you can see, the deck's pretty dirty. And this is just after a really quick trip. We didn't use live bait or anything. We were wade fishing for speckled trout. Didn't even put any trout in the boat. Released them all. And just walking on this thing made it dirty. This is what it looks like after about every trip. And you can use something like this Starbright non-skid deck cleaner, which works great. And it'll get it really clean. And that's the first step to this process of redoing it. But next trip, it's going to look like that. And the key to that is compounding it, polishing it, sealing it, and we'll be good to go. This boat's a 2007 Sea Hunt Triton 232. I picked it up not too long ago for a really great price because the guy just didn't really take great care of it. And his ads on Craigslist weren't that good. The pictures kind of sucked because he didn't really wash the boats. So nobody wanted to come look at it. Even when I came to pick it up, the wash boat wasn't even washed. But that didn't bother me because the motor ran great. Had it checked out by three separate mechanics. Everything was sound. It just cosmetically didn't look perfect and I think that's why a lot of people didn't want to touch it but it really wasn't in that bad of shape but one of the things that's been driving me crazy is this non-skid so it hasn't been compounded or anything like that and who knows how long so I did a couple test spots a while back and I think I found what's gonna work best for me and what I used was a DA polisher from Harbor Freight super cheap I've been using the heck out of this thing and it's still working great I got this off of the Surehold website, and I'll link everything in the description below, but it's a six and a half inch soft brush adapter for this, and it works absolutely perfect, and you're gonna see why. I got this West Marine soft tip brush, any type of soft tip brush, it doesn't really matter. The first step in the process is this non-skid, Starbright non-skid cleaner. This stuff, it's, it's pretty badass, but the problem with it is, is that it doesn't you're gonna have to do it every trip it, it works great and you'll see I'll show you it working in real time you, you watch it just melt everything away but the problem that you're having with your non-skid if you're having my problem is that it hasn't been compounded and sealed and if it hasn't been it's just attracting dirt this dirt is just gets in there and it just stays there there's nothing to repel it like your wax on a car it's the same thing we're doing here is we're putting pretty much some wax on this non-skid and I'll show you some before and after of the water beating and the dirt just washing right off when you do this right and it's gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier it comes to compound and you talk about boats and talk about compound this is what's gonna get thrown out there a lot it's 3m heavy-duty compound this stuff is awesome it's great but you only want to use this if it's like the worst of the worst. It's super hazy, super chalky. Uh, even if it's chalky, I would wet sand it first before even compounding it. But there's a downside to using this, and, and you'll find out if you do use it, is that it's going to make a huge mess, and it's really hard to work with. It works great, don't get me wrong. Super awesome product. But if you're a beginner or you just don't have time to sit here and do this, for two or three days straight because that's what it's going to take it's just a it's a pain in the butt you'll every if you don't do it right you'll notice that when you get done compounding it's going to leave like a tan stain and that means that you didn't sit there and compound it long enough and you're sitting in your head thinking well i just compound for like 10 minutes straight with my buffer and it's still a tan stain it's because you use too much product but I, I I used it in a couple spots and like I said, it just got real annoying. It's gonna leave sand, it's gonna leave a residue everywhere. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So, I mean, some people are gonna knock me for this, I really don't care. But I just had some Meguiar's Ultimate Compound laying around from doing my car a while back. And I did a spot with this on one side and this on the other. And this was about 10 times faster and the results really weren't that magnificent. You know, from this, it was good, it was better, don't get me wrong, but this did just fine, and it's way, way faster. So, that's what I'm using on mine. I just, any any type of compound's gonna work, really. Any type of compound that's got some sort of cut in it. It doesn't have to be this stuff. And this stuff is expensive, too. That's another thing, this is expensive, and this was cheap. I'll, uh, I'll link it in the description below, exact prices, but I just know I paid about 20 bucks for this, and I don't know, like maybe six or seven bucks most for that. All right, so I've already cleaned and compounded this side, and I'm gonna seal it after I do this whole front deck, and I'll show you all that process too. But we're gonna get started on this side, and as I showed you before, it's pretty nasty. So the first step is gonna be a non-skid deck cleaner. And I don't know what's going on with people nowadays. I don't know why they can't just follow directions, but people don't like to read the directions on a product to make sure they get the best out of it. 
So what it says is wet deck with fresh water. Apply Starbright non exclude deck cleaner to surface to be clean and spread it evenly with a deck brush. I'm gonna use this deck brush like I said earlier. Allow to work two to three minutes, scrub treated area with deck brush and rinse thoroughly. So the key here, and we all know no one has patience nowadays, is the two to three minutes. It's very easy. I spread it and I say, hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. I go do something else. Okay. Your timer is set for three minutes. See? Huh? <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? She already knows. But you do that, and then you do something else, come back and rinse it off, and you're gonna get the best out of this product. This thing's awesome. You'll see in here in a second. So, like the directions say, first thing I'm gonna do, let's go. All right. And this stuff, it's like I was saying about the 3M, a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to use a ton of it. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on here a little bit. Then I'm gonna spread it with the brush. And you will see that it will instantly start taking some of this stuff up. I'll do little circles like this. I just wanna get it worked in everywhere. Doing this whole front deck. So I've got it all spread out, a little bubbled up, got a lot of the stuff off already, but now's that important part I was talking about. This is how easy this is, so easy. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Your timer is set for three minutes. Bam, I'm gonna do whatever I want. You know, I was about here for about an hour earlier and there wasn't a single sound. There wasn't a car driving by, wasn't a bird chirping. Soon as I start doing something, it's like these birds are going nuts, cars are driving by. Anyways, I'm gonna stop complaining. Here we go, time to wipe it off. All right, so here's this bottom deck where I haven't done the non-skid. This is what it looked like all up top. And this was just after one time of that non-skid. This stuff works good, man. It's really, really good stuff. This is my compound inside. It got a little wet, a little spray over. You can tell it's like pretty much perfect, but this looks pretty good. It's pretty dang good. If I was just doing non-skid and I wasn't compounding it again, I'd probably do the non-skid cleaner one more time. But since I know I'm gonna compound it, it's gonna clean anything else out. You really just wanna get all the surface stuff off and the compound's gonna get everything else off. So now let's go to the fun part. So before you compound, you don't want to dry everything off. I just use a chamois, the absorber one, or whatever, from AutoZone, whatever it is. Cheap, works great, leave it on the boat. All right, so I got my DA polisher, got the attachment on there. Uh, if you really want me to show you how to do it, I'll do it, but I'm kind of lazy, don't really want to do that right now. Got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, but it's really easy, it screws on there. It's on the instructions for this. The instructions, read the instructions. So, this is the key here. It's just like a car. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in patterns, and we're gonna go up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. It's just like a car, you wanna do two by two area and you don't need a ton of product. This is a mistake I made a lot on cars, boats, everything. I would always use way too much product and it makes it a lot harder. If you have less product, it's easier to get up. It's a lot faster and I just, I don't wanna be here all day doing this. It's kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie, I like doing it. It's very rewarding, very satisfying, but just, we're gonna go in a pattern. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up, this speed, to the side, down, overlapping. And then we're gonna go up, side, and go down. And we're gonna go left, right, same thing. You wanna do anywhere from eight to 10 passes, and you'll know when it's not right, as far as how you're holding the polisher and how much you're putting on. With a DA polisher, it will stop spinning if you put too much pressure. And this has the logos and everything on it so you can see if this stops spinning, but you don't need a ton of pressure for this. In my speed setting, I'm doing it right around three. And it's just three is what's been working for me. It's faster, uh, two, a lot of people say two or use two. I got mine on three, that's what's working good for me. And 
after we're going to use the same thing to add the pro polish from sure hold to seal it but we're going to do that after this So I did this first little section. Uh, you're not really gonna be able to tell that well through the camera is white. Let me do the best I can in post editing, but you're probably not gonna be able to see. Just trust me when I say it's a massive difference. Making sure I just get that last final bit off. Just use a microfiber towel and get these packs at Harbor Freight and they work great. I buy them all the time. Sometimes you can even get them for free, but there's always sales on them. Um, why buy, why spend a ton of money on something that you're just gonna ruin, probably end up throwing away anyways. But I'm going to go ahead and do the whole rest of the boat and then we'll get on to adding the polish and we're going to look at the difference of a polished surface versus a non-polished and compound surface. You're going to see what I've been talking about. So we got the whole thing done. I was about to do a video about a little tip after you get done compounding it and I get the non-skid deck cleaner again and I go over it one more time because what you're gonna see is you're gonna have some residue and don't get frustrated with when you're compounding something's not coming up. If you did it the way you were supposed to, when you get done, you come back, you hit it with the non-skid again, it's gonna get all that stuff off. But of course, I jinxed myself when I talked about the birds and all the loud noises. Cause sure enough, not even 10 minutes after I said that, guy pulls up next door and he's a plumber or something and he's got a dang generator running. <laughs> and I was just like, you gotta be kidding me. But that's just the way it is. So. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this pro polish and what you want to do is you only want it at like I put it on like a setting two on this. It's just real low. You're just applying a wax. It's got a little bit of polish in it, a little something to, to bring out a shine, you know, when you're not using it for non-skid because you can use it for anything. But I'm only going to have it at a two and I'm just spreading it on here. That's all I'm really doing. And then after that, I'll crank it up to maybe three, a little bit more pretty much no pressure, just letting the machine do the work, working it in there, come back and hit it with a microfiber towel and then you're done. Let it cure for a little while, then we'll come back and I'll show you the difference of a sealed or wax or whatever you wanna call it, non-skid versus the stuff down here that I haven't done yet. And you're gonna see the difference and you're probably gonna do this if you got the time. At least you should, because it makes your life a lot easier. We're finally done. We can sit back, look at what we accomplished, be extremely proud of ourselves, and know that cleanup will be a lot easier. 
But there is one more thing. There is the key to all of this. After doing this, if you use this, or if you use bleach, or if you use Dawn soap, or if you use anything super strong, simple green, I don't know, I'm not, I can't think of all of them, but you get what I'm saying. Anything super strong is just gonna take this off, the wax, and you're gonna be right back where you started. And one thing I didn't add earlier is it can be any type of polymer-based wax. You just don't wanna use a paste or anything like that. It'd be impossible to do this. Maybe not impossible, but it would be really hard. So just use regular boat soap after every trip or whatever, something, something not super strong. It's just gonna get the surface dirt off because I'm about to show you here in a second what I'm talking about. This is the whole point of doing all of this is the cleanup is way easier, but you still gotta clean up. So here's our non-treated floor, right? All the stuff on it, all that dirt. Now when I spray it, you can see that the water doesn't really bead or anything. It is moving off of the surface, but it's just lingering more or less and that's what's trapping that dirt in there so now if we go up to this hopefully i can get this recorded good but we spray this and you can see that it's somewhat beating something like, be like a flat surface but you can see that the water is trying to leave that surface somehow it's not just going to chill it just wipes just comes right off now I'm going to get some dirt <laughs> and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so <laughs> I went and stepped into some mud and spread it all around here. This is all the non-treated and this is all the treated. And you can already see that it's trying to repel it already. Now let's hit it with a hose, just a hose, and see what it does. It's hard to see, but it made some new stains that quick. Didn't even dry. It still made some new stains that got in there. Now, as we know, this one was perfectly white when we started. That's what we're after, people. You talk about an easy cleanup. That's just a hose. And no, that dirt had not dried or anything like that. I ain't got time for all that. But you can already see down here where stains had already started setting in. And it wasn't even there long. But up here, all of that just washed right off. I mean, if you're out and you get blood all over the deck or anything like that, you can just hit it with your wash down. You don't even need a brush. It makes cleanup ten times easier. So check this out. This is a prime example of what I was talking about. I've already, I've already done all that back there, right? So I had to walk back there to get up here with the dirty feet. This hasn't even been long. I've sprayed this and that black dirt is already setting in. It's been like maybe five minutes, not even. And all that back there, it just washed off just from me washing, trying to get this off. It washed all that off back there. It's a huge difference, I promise. So there you have it. We uh, cleaned it, compounded it, sealed it. Now we should be good to go for a while. Uh, if you got anything from this video, if you enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe, hit like, whatever all the YouTubers are saying out there. But I um, plan to make some more videos. I'm going to do compounding and polishing the interior with a rotary buffer, with a wool pad, and all of that. Do some before and after. But appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Hope to see you again.